I need to get some help. Look, Pam, I'm sorry for everything. I know you were just trying to help. I love you, Pam. I promise. I'm gonna make this right. As soon as I kick this shit, I'm coming after her with everything that I have. So, I really think he needs you right now. She literally cares about you. We care about you, man. And I love you. I don't want to fight you in this position, okay? You know I knock your ass out. I believe I'm you. All right, all right. Respect. All right. Thank, thank you, John. Can I ask you why you want her to know everything? I just want her to know that good guy. All right. So, bruh fans, we got a sneak peek into what's to come over, I guess, the next... Uh, the next batch of episodes, I mean, it's hard to believe we're almost at the damn season finale. Episode 22 is the season two finale for Bruh. And, you know, we're getting deeper into the Mike addiction storyline. So the promo you just saw, while most of it was a recap of what we've seen thus far, you know, from Mike revealing to Pam about his addiction um, the turmoil that he's really put her through, you know, uh, her going around to the bros to ask for help because Mike doesn't want to ask for it himself, let alone acknowledge they needs help. You know, one minute he does want help, the next he doesn't. And then, you know, when he's in the bathroom doing coke and Pam's outside the door crying. And basically the main thing to talk about in this video is the fact that the teaser showed us that during his weekend rehab retreats, if you want to call it that, Natalie is his therapist, which is ironic because I I thought she would have been written off the show, but that isn't the case, and I'm glad. She is a therapist, as she told Bill. Like, I thought that, you know, her therapy was the yoga stuff, you know, like a spirituality and physical, you know, release through yoga. But no, she's actually a white coat-wearing therapist at the rehab clinic so i find it interesting how the two bros who recognize they need help bill with therapy and mike with rehab you have the situation where the woman that bill is sort of lusting for is actually giving mike the therapy that he wanted from her so i i think that's cool so from there you have a situation where, no, here's another thing of our um, being ironic. Early season two, what did Mike do? He went to the yoga studio to tell Natalie about Bill saying he had cancer, if I'm not mistaken. And from there, it's almost as if Bill has a secondary addiction to Natalie the same way that he has to Regina. And now you have Natalie being the therapist that Bill wanted for him to recognize his problems and identify his issues in the past. You have Natalie being the therapist to Mike so he can kick his addiction that he's currently going through. Ha! So, we go more into the conversation between the two. And Mike, I think Natalie asks, he's like, so why do you want her to know everything? Most likely in reference to Pam, just to let her know that I'm a good guy. I'm not saying Mike isn't a good guy, but the whole Coke situation got a bit of Bobby Brown in there. So I will say this much. It is interesting to see that both Zach on Sisters and Mike from Bruh are saying the same thing. I'm going to chase after her with everything I got. Oh, I like that. So I guess the main question is, can Pam hang in there through all this? So while this promo looks promising, you know, Natalie and Mike give each other, you know, dap like, okay, yeah, we're going to get through this. And you see him struggling a little bit over the weekend, and that's understandable. He just started the program. <sighs> we got the behind the scenes look at season three, and damn it, we see Mike, you know, straight jacket. So we know things don't eventually work out. Man. So, you know, from Pam and everybody at the hospital, more than likely to see Mike in his room. I don't know what goes wrong, but damn it, he better not die. I'll tell you that much. Mike better not die. No, 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 not on my watch. My question is how the program works, you know, like, obviously it's over the weekend and what happens during the week? Does he have like, uh, you know, people to check in on him either 
in person or over the phone? You know, is it like an accountability system? I don't know. But I will say this much. It's good to see Mike starting to work out the issues. It's just a matter of can he be consistent? It's one thing to start something, but consistency is how you succeed at something and move forward. And like I said before, I really wonder if Pam can hang through this. Obviously, she wants what's best for Mike. And I haven't recorded my review for yesterday's episode yet. And of course, I'll get more into the situation once I get to it. But I just wonder how much can Pam take before she doesn't want to be with Mike anymore. So let's talk about it more in the comment section below. Uh, Man, this is some pretty crazy stuff going on in bruh, but it's, it's interesting and I like the angle we're going with it. So thanks so much for tuning in. Hit like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon and select all. We are getting closer to 200,000 subscribers. I say that because we are now less than 1,000 away from 190, so we're going to get to 200 soon. I believe that. Talk to you all soon, and make sure you check out the Bruh playlist if you haven't been watching any of the episodes. If not, what's wrong with you? But remember, Ruthless comes back next week, and if you want to watch Bruh when most people renew their BET Plus subscription, go ahead and check it out. I recommend it.